Oh, sheesh. Hi. Finally, 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 finally done. Uh, the cleaning. The, not, not, not the truck. But look. Uh, this is the next day. Oh, freaking heater. I do want the heater, so it's freaking cold today. Just not right now. Okay. So, I finally got the brushing and the cleaning of the frame done. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, everything's off. Like, I got everything. <laughs> everything off. Um, so the frame's been completely brushed, even underneath, even all this stuff has been completely cleaned and, uh, osphoed. Um, I even osphoed the engine there, uh, just this yesterday. Hopefully I didn't screw up the, I'm probably going to have to replace these belts anyway. The um, frame's basically yeah. been degreased and, and osphoed. I might have to brush a bit more of this stuff off here, but... Basically, it would be ready to paint, like to put the undercoating. But I can't do the undercoating until I patched the floors. So there's uh, really only this this section, this patch here on this side, at least for now. Uh, yeah, there's some more patches there, but um, oh yeah, and this whole front section here. So I gotta patch that, all this stuff, and here, and the other side. So next part is trying to get some patches. So I finally got the 20 gauge uh, sheet metal, because uh, as I said before, the uh, the sheet metal that I had bought, got from Napa was like 24 gauge, way too thin. Uh, I haven't even opened it up yet, but I, I'm hoping we get some better results from, um, from welding the thicker uh, sheet metal. So the... It's not so bad. I just don't want to bend. Uh, I don't want to bend this part too much either. But There's so much shit coming falling out between these two pieces. Here, here we come into the real fun stuff, although, and maybe difficult stuff. So I've never done metal working before. I've never done metal bending or welding or or shaping or whatever. So this is the part we're trying to replicate. It's the kind of the, the strengthening rail underneath the rocker. Exciting. Carpet. Carpet. Lots of stuff coming in the mail. Insulation and sound dampener. Catalytic converter. I don't know if they say on the top, but yeah, catalytic converters in there. Check this out. The front. Uh, front support for the headlights and uh, radiator. Like, this thing was so so rusted. Ooh, I don't know if I can put this on without making it fall. Anyway, check this side. Nice and clean, brushed. Um, obviously, you know, this is a uh, a patch. Blah, 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 blah. There. So there's actually there was actually a patch on both sides here. So obviously, this truck has seen a lot of repair. Um, and this side, like this is this is all rusted. But I put um, Osfo everywhere to eliminate the like the least the active rust and then i used a can of rust reformer on top of the already converted rust so hopefully at least for the next couple of years you know it stops um it stops this so what are we doing today um i fiddled with <laughs> the uh, trying to do my, uh, I've been having a hard time with the the welder. It's 120, 120 volt or 110 volt, whatever, uh, and it just it, it seems to be very finicky. I haven't gotten the trick yet, um, and I tried to do uh, pe the, the the one of the panels, and that didn't work out too well. The panel kind of warped with 
Anyway, so I think I tried to do like a super advanced thing for me. Um, I'll try to do some simpler panels. So we got we got uh, this one that is just a simple. I'm actually gonna cut around this. I just like kind of emptied it out first. I'm gonna make the patch first, then uh, cut the exact patch. And we also have, which I think I'm gonna start with because I think that sounds it seems like a pretty good uh, first try. We gotta repair this panel. So. This fender, sorry. So, the first thing I gotta do to repair this, I've kind of already uh, emptied out the, the spot. I have the, like for the for the panel on the, on the outside, I have the part, so I don't have to worry about bending all this stuff. But, um, I do have to do some repairs on whatever, this back panel. I don't know what you want else we want to call it. So there's a lot of rust, just like on the edge and on the bottom, so. Take that out. That is pretty very close. All right, so now, if I understand at all what I'm doing, which I don't, I'm going to mark down Tire pickup with just a Dremel. That's what I'm doing. Okay, so try this again. Two holes. Technically, if I put this here. Uh, the holes are have something there. So there's something to weld on the bottom, something to weld all around. So let's try to not blow ourselves up. All right, cool. I lost battery and I and it and it and it and it and it and it cut out. But look at that shit! It's ugly as fuck. But I did it. Sort of. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Ugly butt weld, if that's what it is, or uh, spot weld. Yeah, I think it's butt welds. And then all that crap along the side. <laughs> I could probably feel a little bit more. But still, it welded. Freaking awesome. I'm so happy. As you can probably tell, I'm freaking happy. Ah, oh, that's good. All right, so all that means is that <laughs> this is gonna look like shit, and I'm gonna put a, a bunch of putty. That's all. That's what it is. It's gonna be putty, putty, and putty, putty. So look, honestly, uh. Nothing I have to weld is structural. I mean, the closest to structural would be these like floor pla uh, plates. And honestly, like, it, it <laughs> I keep grinding it down. Like that's what I did for the last 20 minutes. I just kept on like I did a row, and then I would just grind it down to metal, like just nice and smooth. Did another one. This this, this uh, I, I haven't ground this layer down, so you see kind of like crap that goes on it. But still, I freaking welded. Shush, shush. I finally found. The settings that I need to do, and I, and I was like, the, my problem was that I was reading the instructions. That's my problem, because they said that the, the, for my gauge, for the gauge of steel that I was using was like the lowest wire speed, and I read one post, one post on the internet for that for that welder, and he said just like shove it to five, like halfway to the, the fastest that you can go with the spin with the um, wire speed, and he says like just leave it there. Tried that. Started welding properly. That's why I was I just, just didn't have enough wire speed to, to, to put metal on the on the on the metal on the metal I guess so awesome um, That means that we'll be ready Tomorrow all right take this out Ground 
So I traced, I traced this next piece. We gotta replace all this rust in on the side. So I'm gonna put a plate in the first. First, I'm gonna cut this out, and I'll put this in, and then we'll shape, I'll like cut off the excess here, and then we'll put a piece on the side to uh, support it. So Got some nice progress on uh, the fender. Uh, the, fe the the first fender is done. Of course, there's the putty. I, I may be able to like. This is ground down pretty well. I don't want to go too far because I know my welds suck and they're brittle and they don't penetrate very well. So I just, <laughs> just wanted something to work. Um, so moving on to the next part, I was looking at this uh, more thoroughly and found there was quite a bit of. Uh, I found some painted like rust in the corner here which then led me to uh, completely re remove the uh, ventilation heater system, I'm guessing, um, in there. So, which exposed all this, which gives me, like I knew that I had this section to, to, to replace, but once I ground here, you can actually see right through uh, this section. So I'm gonna have to replace uh, like basically everything here. Anyway. Wow, we got quite a bit done tonight. Um, Clean up this firewall. See, put in the first patch. That was the worst of the back. Also cut out this side and built a plate for the worst there. And I don't think, um, I, don't, I think that that's the end of it. The other wall I haven't uh, welded it in yet. So uh, I even put a little uh, part here for there and it'll, it'll uh, do the spot weld or butt weld, whatever the hell weld that it's called. One day I'll learn it. So this thing fits, this thing at least fits really nice and snug. Uh, the only gap is right, right here. Um, so, I mean, that'll be covered with uh, uh, the sealant. That's I'm not about to like start the whole thing over just because of that. So I'll leave you guys trying to get this one. Insulation there, cut fire. There, that took. Okay, that one's in. So I can move over here and uh, see if I can't get these in there. I'm not sure if that's even going to well, but let's try that. Great, got an update. Back panel is in. It's not perfect, but it's in. There's a small crack on that side, but I mean, filler will do that. So we repaired completely the firewall. And i um, not really sure what it's called. I guess like, where your feet are at. Again, small crack there. Um, filler, whatever. The rest of the floor is fine as far as I know. There's gonna be some repairs back there and there's some some like small holes in the middle there. But we're getting ready to weld in uh, the, the biggest patch on the driver's side. I've been fiddling with this for whew, uh, better part of an hour, I guess. Just to, like, cause last time I got this uh, other plate in here and I didn't fit it right. And so now this time I just kind of kept grinding away just a tiny little bit, tiny little bit, tiny little bit until the like it just now if it's perfectly well so let's get that welded in i'll get another one here oh, that's 
looks better there. Uh, how great that fits. <laughs> I just, I'll, I'll um, do this edge first and then we can, there's like a crack here, but I, either I can bend the bottom towards that way or I can bend this way, that, that, that way, which, and then we'll be able to like, um, we'll be able to weld that. Yeah, should be all right. Almost done. I can show the light here. Got the driver's side done. It's um, it's quite a mess, but you know, it's probably pretty solid. I got the patch underneath where the the seat goes in as well. I cut it even farther because I noticed it was some some rust. Well, floor is done. Finally. Uh. Had a couple of holes in the back here. They were like um, plug holes, that kind of like this, but smaller. I think there's another one here, actually. Yeah, like like that. But it had like completely rotted around, so I just cut it out and replaced both of them with a nice, neat little patch. Uh, floor panel, floor over there with is all done. So basically, everything with the flooring is done. So the next thing we have to do, like this, is, I'm gonna end the episode here. Um, a lot of fun. Jeez, we had <laughs> went through quite a bit. I mean, I still have the other fender, so I'll probably just like mix up the other fender with uh, the cab corners in the next video. But uh, we started with this as good practice, and then uh, went over to more structural things. This is actually my second patch, and then uh, anyway, it's like it's not the prettiest thing in the world, and I might have to redo it in three, like five, six years, but. I mean, uh, I'm going to cover it with sealant. I bought some welding sealer, uh, kind of like caulking. That'll go over on, I'll put it on both sides so that there's no moisture that can go through in between. And then we'll cover the, the entire cab, whoever there's rust, we'll cover it with the uh, rust reformer and, uh, and, and a couple of coats of paint, uh, of paint and uh, basically the cab will be it. So next episode is going to be tearing apart this, this major cab corner and we have like the underneath of the other cab corner. We don't have to touch the outside. Uh, that'll have to be done. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the the episode. I mean, this has been a lot of a lot of progress uh, in the last uh, month or so. So, oh, no, I see now. <laughs> it's very very dusty. Um, yeah, looking forward to uh, getting the welding done, and then moving on to some putty. I'm really just looking forward to getting putting this pit truck back together. And uh, do giving a good tune-up and seeing if the engine runs and, and whatnot. So anyways, see you guys. I'll see you in the next episode.